Grey's Anatomy star Jesse Williams has been in this bitter custody battle. I've been reading these articles with his ex, Aaron Drake Lee. The couple announced their divorce in April of 2017. The custody battle has been contentious. Most recently, Jesse filed legal documents claiming Aaron has been interrogating their two children, trying to find fault with him, quote unquote, poisoning their children. In reverse, Aaron claims he's been absent due to his busy and unpredictable schedule as a celebrity. And, uh, that one has been out there and you just you see it getting worse and worse and again look we don't ever know are the articles accurate or not that's just the way it is but this is mm -hmm. it gets people talking yes and and as you see something like this play out where the kids do become sort of a pawn in this game or at least reportedly so mm. it's devastating because all you keep thinking is the only loser here is the kids. Yes, right. the kids are the losers, and it's a great cautionary tale. I mean, if there's a way to make this positive, it's seeing this and hearing about it teaches us what not to do. It's right. probably the most egregious thing that you can do in a divorce mm. is get is yes. use the kids as pawns. Well, you know, he did this. Yes. Right. He, or she did that, and she wasn't there for him, or he wasn't there for him, and, and then the whole oh. implying that there's even criminal behavior yeah. Uh, how much does it, how much does in a, in a divorce where maybe a married couple starts here and in this case, Jesse Williams, who was, I believe, a teacher when they were married, but then becomes this massive star mm -hmm. and you go from there to here, do you see that a lot where that creates just so much friction in a marriage that Yes, I think the main reason why people split up is because they grow apart, whether it's here as a teacher, to here as a TV star, or here as a 25-year-old, to here as a 40-year-old. People grow apart and they don't communicate and stay in touch with, you, with each other enough to keep evolving together, and all of a sudden you go, wait a minute, who is that person? I don't even know him anymore. Well, Dr. O, to that point, you've been married 32 years. Woo! <laughs> I don't need you. I don't need yeah, you. Yeah, thank goodness. You, Laura. Thank goodness. Thank God. You don't want. You don't want to. You just want to keep her as a friend. You don't actually want to or work a, with a Laura. A good friend. Yeah. Right. <laughs> but I was going to ask you. You know, you've been with your wife during a time where you were growing as people and forming your identity, and you've made it all these years. I've and my stuff down the aisle. Well, how? Do, I mean, and, how do you? And, what and are your she secrets? met me as a resident, and yeah. and uh, she was a successful model then. So we we had those lives. But as Laura said, that mm. things changed. We grew together, each in our own ways, respected that. Mm. I mean, having kids, I think helps keep you together. It's not the single reason right. that keeps you together, but I think being best friends, uh, laughing, yeah. being tolerant. Adding to your clan and having some putting, other shared Putting somebody together. else first very often is like, well, I would rather do this or, or, or do it this way. And you, you learn to, to compromise.